The Mersal display is based on a very sound set of, of fundamentals. It's a reflective display technology, very different from the technologies you see in existing handsets. And we've spent the last six years or so really getting the technology ready. What that means for the end user, the technology is extremely low power. It's very bright, but you can see it almost anywhere you go. You can see it at the beach, you can see it at the pool, you can work it in your office. And of course, it's very fast, so it can do video. I think this technology is going to change the way we use and interact with mobile devices. I think it's going to revolutionize the, the mobile industry. The interferometric modulator iMod element is composed of two conducting plates. One is a thin film stack on a glass substrate. The other is a reflective membrane suspended over the substrate but with an air gap in between. And when no voltage is applied, the plates are separated and light interacts with the open elements to reflect a specific color. When a small voltage is applied, the plates are pulled together by electrostatic attraction and the light interacts with the closed element to appear black. These iMod elements are minuscule. They're typically only 10 to 100 microns on a side. And the color of the iMod element is determined by the size of the gap between the plates. So as shown, the red, green, and blue iMod elements have air gaps of differing sizes. By manipulating each pixel, a wide spectrum of color generation is possible. To create a flat panel display, a large array of iMod elements are fabricated in the desired format and packaged. Strips of these elements are combined to form pixels, and pixels are combined to make the overall display. Well, imagine a device where you could have the benefits of the e-reader coupled with the benefits of the handset and the disadvantages of neither. That's really what Mirasol promises, and that uh, has the potential to, to really change the way we interact with our mobile devices.